our, our, our country, when I ran for Congress in 2012, we had 11, billion, 11 trillion in debt. Now we're at $30 trillion. That's more, that's twice as much debt just in the last 10 years than we did over the entire history of our country. You look at what they do, how they legislate, they literally, if you're a regular member of Congress, you don't even get to read the legislation until like five hours before. So they'll put 2,000 pages there and you gotta figure out, it's all done by an elite cadre uh, of people in the leadership. And, and, that's just, and you see people that have been there forever, like Pelosi and all this stuff. And, and the question is, is you know, it, nothing's really changing. And even when Republicans took over, we still would do. They criticized Pelosi in 2010 for all her shenanigans, and rightfully so. And then we, we get elected, I'm there. They were doing the same stuff, you know, as Republicans. And so I look to say, what can states do to kind of give people a voice in this. And one of the things that Florida has done is we've certified a, a constitutional amendment for term limits for members of Congress. And I think that that's something that is very, very important because at the end of the day, what we have in, in the, at the state level, which I supported at the state level too, is we have people come in, you know, Simpson knows he's gonna have two years, our Speaker of the House has two years, and then it rotates in. So all the incentives are, to get things done and to leave a legacy, uh, not just to hold power for power's sake. And so the result is uh, we're able to, to get a lot done. I think people are more in touch with, with their voters as a result. And so in Washington, you know, if you had term limits in Congress, all these people that cause all the problems, they would not even be there anymore. And I can tell you, people will say, well, then the lobbyists run the show or this. Uh, that's already happening. The bureaucracy is already running the show. Congress has not disciplined the bureaucracy or done anything. And so you have the ability for states to certify this. I know a few states have done it. I think Alabama's done it, Florida, a couple others. But man, uh, how great would that be if the states were coming and providing a, a restraint. That's how the founders envisioned. They understood when you do these things, you could do it through Congress or you could do it through the states. You could do it through either one. And they knew if you were gonna do things to discipline the people who were in power at the time, you probably had to go around them. They weren't gonna necessarily agree uh, to be able to do it. So I think that that would provide people with an ability, instead of the incentive being you get elected to Congress and your sole goal is to just stay there as long as possible, you get elected to Congress and you'd have a limited time to actually make a difference for people and to actually get things done. Um, and if just think if you got any steam behind this, the amount of fear that that would strike into these people up there, they would be really, really scared. Because ultimately, a lot of the people in D.C., when they're doing what they do, they really do fear the voters. They fear having sunlight uh, on what they're doing, um, and they want to continue uh, to basically have the swamp operate as the swamp. So the states that have done it, thank you. The states that, that are considered doing it, I would strongly uh, can, uh, urge you to consider it and offer my full endorsement uh, on providing uh, an ability for, for we the people in our states with a federal government that's totally out of whack. You're never going to have fiscal sanity in D.C. unless you have some type of balanced budget amendment uh, to the Constitution. We have to balance our budget in the state of Florida. I'm sure most of you have to balance your budgets in your individual states. If you were given the option to just simply charge it on the credit card and leave the problems for others, you would have strong political incentive to do it. Why make tough choices if you don't have to do it? I mean, that's just a natural human response. And so that's what we've seen happening in Washington. And I think if they were forced uh, to actually make decisions, then some of the train that we're seeing would potentially be slowed down.